Ever seen a cargo hauler spit out 100 cruise missiles in a single breath? In January, a C-17 dumped four Rapid Dragon pallets and morphed, mid-flight, into the planet's biggest bomber without drilling a single rivet. If 650 plain Jane transports can flip the switch overnight, does Beijing's air defense playbook just collapse on takeoff? 30 seconds. That's how long it took a C-130H, flying a low-level racetrack over the Arabian Peninsula on 26 January 2025, to dump two Rapid Dragon pallets, peel away, and watch six joint air-to-surface standoff missiles light off and streak toward a desert impact grid. The drop was the centerpiece of Operation Agile Spartan, the latest proof of concept that palletized weapons can ride into theater on everyday airlifters and launch in places bombers can't safely stage. Why the hype? Because Rapid Dragon flips the bomber math. More than 650 C-130 and C-17 series airframes against just 140 dedicated bombers. With roll-on, roll-off, bomb bay-in-a-box kits, each Hercules suddenly carries a dozen stealth cruise missiles. A Globemaster can toss 45. No structural mods, no extra crew training, just rig, roll, and drop. Air Force strategists now slot the system squarely into the Agile Combat Employment Playbook, scattering missile-ready transports across satellite runways that peer adversaries can't pre-target. That dispersion buys you hours, maybe days, of uncontested salvo time. One planner told Congress, the kicker, production is finally real. February 2024, budget notes show Rapid Dragon moving from low rate bills to the first full rate lot this summer, just in time for the system's first high latitude stress test later this winter. But testers say the desert drop exposed a hard limit. Standard JASM ER top out before the cargo hauler is truly safe from next gen surface to air missiles. Enter the extreme range JASM XR. Lockheed's new AGM-158XR just bulldozed Rapid Dragon's comfort zone. Unveiled at the Air, Space, and Cyber Conference in September 2024, the stretch JASM packs extra fuel and promises 1,900-kilometer reach, double the old extended range rounds. Bigger punch means bigger headaches. The XR's added length and weight force engineers to carve a V2 pallet cell. Wider skids, stronger cradle, deeper deployment bay, Air Force labs call it Rapid Dragon Heavy, and fit checks on a C-17 simulator wrapped in April. Flight test number one is penciled for quarter four, 2025 at White Sands. A C-17 will drop a single cell prototype to verify shoot stability before greenlighting full nine pack salvos. Range is king, but price wounds linger. An XR tips the ledger at roughly $2 million per shot, according to budget backups, nearly 40% higher than today's JASM ER. Congressional staff already warned that Rapid Dragon's value dies if ammo stays boutique priced. That frustration births a Rebel, a $150,000 cruise missile gunning to flood the pallets. Lockheed Martin's common multi-mission truck, nicknamed Comet, crashed the munitions market on March 3, 2025, with a sticker price of roughly $150,000 per round, a full order of magnitude below a stealthy JASM. The subsonic modular airframe borrows Speed Racer digital designs and plugs into the Pentagon's new affordable mass doctrine, aimed squarely at stretching China's air defense radar screens thin. Quantity is the real shockwave. Briefed at the Air and Space Forces Warfare Symposium, engineers revealed that a single Rapid Dragon pallet can pack 25 comets, and a C-17 can sling four pallets for a 100-missile broadside. Drop tests wrapped in March, the next free flight demo rides Project Franklin this summer where data will set production rates that could hit 2,500 rounds a year if greenlit. Competition is already circling. Co-Aspire's 3D-printed, rapidly adaptable, affordable cruise missile flashed its own low-cost credentials at Sea Airspace 2025, promising plug-and-play compatibility with any jet that hauls a 500-pound bomb. Add Andril's Barracuda and DIU's Enterprise Test Vehicle finalists, and the cheap cruise field looks like a Silicon Valley land rush Budget hawks love it. Prime contractor lobbies loathe it. Next up, allies want in, but integration bugs may spoil the export party. Japan set aside 3.8 billion yen, approximately 25 million US dollars, in its December 2024 supplementary budget to pallet arm the Kawasaki C2 fleet. Engineers finished the first digital fit check in April 2025, proving a six-missile Rapid Dragon pallet slides straight into the cargo bay with no airframe mods. A live drop trial at Gifu Air Base is now penciled for early 2026. Europe has moved from curiosity to currency. During the Atreus 22-4 demo in Norway, back in November 2022, 
Polish crews loaded U.S. Rapid Dragon cells into their C-130s. Since then, the 33rd Transport Aviation Base has run quarterly reload drills, and Warsaw says it will declare an initial Rapid Dragon capable squadron by NATO's Dragon 25 exercise. But enthusiasm alone will not close the range gap. A June 2025 GAO weapons assessment blasted proprietary data links and closed software hooks that keep partners from retasking missiles in flight, warning the practice locks in monopoly margins and slows coalition integration. Japan's C2 mission computers ride a homegrown network stack, while European regulators forced a heavier drogue chute that shaves 90 kilograms off usable payload per pallet. Until those wrinkles are ironed out, every export carries the drag of bespoke engineers engineering hours, and that threatens Rapid Dragon's promise of fast, cheap mass. Lockheed just threw more steel at the problem, $122 million to turbocharge its JASM and Larasm lines, and a new Orlando Bay that doubles output to 1,000 missiles a year. The surge comes after Pentagon analysts warned production was critically late for a Pacific fight, yet prices keep spiking. The fiscal year 2026 request pegs a single JASM at $2.6 million, Larasm $3.6 million, numbers that torched the Air Force's affordable mass mantra and dwarfed the fleet of $150,000 comets waiting in the wings. Lawmakers now ask why stealth skins still cost solid gold money. A June GAO audit digs deeper. Proprietary seeker modules and closed data links block second-source suppliers, hard-coding monopoly margins into every round. The report warns that without an open plug-and-fight architecture, Rapid Dragon will run dry before hour 12 of a high-end campaign. Commanders feel the pinch already. Indopac Air Forces says current stockpiles would last days, not weeks, while a U.S. four-star just urged NATO to triple long-range magazines before Russia resets in 2027. The message, buy volume now or seed the salvo race later. Strategists see one escape hatch, load Rapid Dragon with payloads that are cheaper than missiles. Electronic jammers, sensor drones, even resupply pods are queuing for the same Dropbox slots. That multi-mission pivot headlines next. Rapid Dragon is no longer just a missile rack. It is morphing into a flying Swiss Army pallet. The Air Force Research Laboratory's 2024 fact sheet lists electromagnetic jammers, broadband decoys, and Altius 600 sensor drones as plug-and-play effects modules that ride in the same Dropbox skeleton as cruise missiles. Engineers added a universal power rail and data bus this spring, so a C-130 crew chief can swap from weapons to jammers in under 20 minutes on the ramp. Proof is coming fast. During re 4 pack 25, the Pacific's largest agile combat employment exercise, two MC-130Js airdropped a mixed pallet. The lead cradle fires a low-cost Comet missile. The trailing cells eject mini-drones that spread electronic noise across KU and S-band fire control radars. Test cards say, success means holding a notional enemy battery blind for six minutes, long enough for fourth-gen fighters to slip past. Logistics teams want in, too. Air Mobility Command is prototyping a 4,500-pound resupply pod that carries blood plasma, micro-generators, or ammunition bundles, using rapid dragon chutes to drop into dirt strips where traditional airdrops draw too much small arms fire. The pod's first combat survivability run tagged along on the same reform pack sortie and the pallet landed intact. Commanders get a two for one, missiles out, medical kits in, the expanded menu thrills tacticians but rattles accountants. The fiscal year 2026 R1 and House Appropriations language earmark Rapid Dragon for full rate funding next spring, yet stipulate that production money flows only if the multi-mission hardware proves it can survive salt spray, arctic cold, and runway grit without constant depot touch-ups. Miss just one environmental gate, and the whole program slips a year. That cliff-edge decision lands in May 2026. Pass the test, and Rapid Dragon becomes the Pentagon's pop-up arsenal. Missiles, jammers, drones, or med kits on 650-plus cargo planes. Fail, and the Air Force reverts to boutique cruise missile stockpiles, while China keeps extending its air defense reach. The clock is ticking, and the wrap-up will tally who gains the salvo edge if Congress pulls the plug. Rapid Dragon just rewrote the math of mass fires, yet its fate hangs on a single budget line. If the May 2026 environmental trials flunk, Congress will freeze full-rate money, and the Air Force will limp into the Pacific fight with boutique cruise missile stocks, while China's surface-to-air envelopes march eastward. Pass, and every gray tail transport from Illinois to Iwakuni becomes a pop-up arsenal, able to drop stealth missiles one sortie, sensor drones the next, med kits at dusk, and be gone before dawn. 
Meanwhile, Lockheed's cut-rate comet threatens to flood the sky with $150,000 arrows, undercutting million-dollar jasms and prying open the closed architecture grip that GAO says locks in monopoly margins. But another shock looms. China is already flight-testing its own palletized munition train. Rumor says a Y-20 demo splashed targets in the Bohai Sea late last year. If Beijing scales first, America's 650-plane advantage shrinks to a salvo-for-salvo salvo stalemate. So weigh in armchair strategists. Should Congress bet big on a modular dragon or fix the supply chain before the next superpower fires the first pallet?